Hi, everyone. It's Rax. Come here today without very good news, and I'd just like to give you my opinion on what's going on here with Blizzard and Diablo 4. So, if you have not heard, Blizzard announced that the Gauntlet would be releasing... Well, first of all, let's step back a moment. Several months ago, Blizzard said that the Gauntlet would be the headliner of Season 3. It would be the leaderboard thing. It would be the competitive thing. They announced this for months and months. Season 3 started. It wasn't there. Then they said, hey, it's going to release later on in the season so we can give other people a chance to level up, you know, because everybody levels at different paces. If you go back to a few of my videos before where they announced that, I said, you know, I don't want to call Blizzard liars, but I, I don't really believe that that's the reason. I just, I just don't think it's ready. They're just not ready. The other reason doesn't make sense. I've explained why multiple times. So uh, then... A little bit later, Rod Ferguson announced that it would be releasing on February 13th, which would be about a week from now, right? Well, now we got another update, and they said that they're very excited. They're still on track for Season 3, but they're going to take some more time to polish a few things up. So it's not releasing on February 13th. They'll announce the date later. And then if you read through the comments and the opinions of everybody, everyone is pretty upset. Not not just with this specific event, but with Blizzard and Diablo 4 in general, right? So uh, I don't know everything. I don't have all the right answers, but I would like to make a video just giving my opinion. Again, I'm going to try to be kind of objective here. I'm not going to just bitch and complain and da-da-da-da-da, but I just want to share some thoughts here because it seems like it's a little bit of a downward spiral. So... Diablo 4 has made a couple of critical mistakes in its timeline so far. So first of all, in the beta, a lot of the things that we found fun, like Necromancer leveling with minions, they nerfed everything, and then the game launched, and then they nerfed everything, and then they learned from that, and they said, okay, uh, we're taking all the fun out of the game, we're going to stop doing that. But then they may have made a bunch of promises that they said that they, they were going to do, this being one of them, for example, and it, it really hasn't come to fruition. For example, another one is they've said over and over and over again, we know about endgame, 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 endgame. All we had was the abattoir, which did not release very well and required another emergency hotfix. Um, and then we have this, for example, and we still, we still to this day don't really have an end game. And this was supposed to be the end game thing. And then it was also delayed. And then it's also all of these emergency hot fixes, da, 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 da. The point of the singular point of redemption that seemed to occur was when season two came out. Season two, the team, the vampire theme is kind of meh. We weren't too sure hearing about it. But then when we played it, it was actually a hell of a lot better than the Malignant Hearts for a lot of different reasons that we've covered in other videos. On top of that, it seems like the developers kind of went into like emergency mode and put in a ton of hours to actually release a ton of quality of life that made the game better. It did not fix itemization, which by the way is supposed to come in season four, and it still didn't give us an end game, but they did clean up a lot of the different things. And they have learned some lessons like ball lightning released way too powerful and they just let it go. Hoda bar right now is way too powerful. They just let it go. And then some mistakes were repeated, like uh, some of the problems from the season one team and the, or let's call it the odd season team. They made the same problems with the Seneschals. They released way too, uh, they're very underpowered and they're also bugged. They either hit for nothing or they hit for 16 quadrillion damage. So we got bugs, otherwise it does nothing. And it's not really playing an active role in whatever you're doing. Couldn't level it up. Another emergency hotfix. Um, it's it's been a bit of a roller coaster. So, in my opinion, this is what I think Diablo 4 and Blizzard needs to do. I think you should pull the gauntlet for Season 3. Season 3, cumulatively, is going to be a loss. It's a loss, right? The Most people really don't like the pets. They've moved away from it. They did do the emergency thing and made it a little bit better. It's kind of over. The thing that we were hyping up for Season 3 didn't release. It's going to release on February 13th. Oh, just kidding. It's coming later. And when it comes later, Last Epoch is going to be out. Da, 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 da. Not like they have to plan their lives around Last Epoch. But if, if you're going to make people 
choose against one or the other, people seem to be more favorable toward that game than than this about what's going on. Um, I would just pull it, man. I would say release it in season four with the itemization update because it's much more than just the individual um, events coming out. It's not just about the gauntlet. It's not just about the Seneschal theme not releasing well. It's about people are actually genuinely losing faith in the Diablo 4 team. I personally have in my Discord inbox right now a bunch of DMs from different content creators where they're just they're asking my opinion and I'm I'm trying to not be super negative here about about the situation because people are just genuinely down to their core losing faith. Some people have lost it a long time ago. Maybe there are some people still here really enjoying Diablo 4 and all of this they couldn't care less about any of it. It doesn't matter to them and they can't see why everybody would dislike it. I understand, especially for any people that don't play the game a ton. If you don't play it, put a ton of hours into it, probably a lot of these things that are going on don't really matter too much. But I am feeling a strong, palpable sense in the community that people are actually genuinely losing faith about what's happening here. I think you need another inflection point like Season 2. I think the team needs to call Season 3 what it is and take the next couple of months of development time, get the itemization rework that was planned and promised in Season 4, get that nice and polished, and release the gauntlet then. I think you're going to get way more mileage than releasing it halfway through a season, three-fourths of the way through a season where people are already, as a collective, dissatisfied. Um, And in my opinion, one thing that Diablo 4 has done, which is nice, I wish Diablo 3 would have done this, is they have stuck to their three-month schedule. Three months, another season comes out. Three months, another season comes out. And that's fantastic. That's that's the way I would love you to do it as a player, but also selfishly as a content creator because, well, it's just easier for me to pay my bills if they release more godly stuff and everyone likes the game, if I'm being honest with you. But for I think with this particular moment, with people's faith hanging in the balance, if you are not ready to launch season four with the gauntlet in very good condition and without that itemization rework exactly as you want it, for the love of God, delay the season. Make season three go another month or something. Season three is already a wash. That's fine. That it would be my advice. And that does not help me. As a content creator, I want you to vomit out stuff as fast as you possibly can. But there are so many people tied to the franchise that are feeling so bad about this that I, I think this is the best play. And I'd be interested to hear how you guys feel. How do you guys feel about this? Do you even care? Are you guys paying attention to all the stuff going on? But uh, I don't really like to get involved in drama. I'm not calling them names. I'm not calling them stupid. They, you want to know what I honestly think? I'm, I'm guessing they're maybe understaffed or... It, they have too much corporate red tape. I'm guessing the developers are absolutely exhausted. I'm guessing they're overworked. And I'm guessing that every single time that something like this happens and there's more negative publicity, I'm sure it wears on them. They're, they're humans over there working, at, working on this game. God, it's got to wear on them, man. It's wearing on all of us. Blizzard, my message to you would be, please, just cancel the gauntlet for Season 3. Work on it. Work on the itemization thing. If you want, if you want someone's opinion, it doesn't have to be me, but I'm around. I would I would love to help you. Send me a message. You want to give me a PTR? Let me test it for you. I'd be happy to help you. There'd be a lot of people happy to help you. Um I, I would I really want to see you guys succeed. For the love of God, if you're not ready for it, season three already sucks. Delay it. Get it right. Get back on track. 
And then let's let's start on a good foot in season four. It's the even season team. A lot of people are banking on that. They did pretty good with the vampire theme. Hey, the, you just pull all the resources on Diablo 3. Diablo 3, most people don't think Diablo 3 is a great game. But one thing that almost everyone agrees on is the very last little team, Frankie and Matt and all the people on that team that made the very last Diablo 3 seasons, they get a, they get a great job. I think they're all still working at Blizzard. <laughs> Why don't you give them a call? Let's uh, let's get him in there. Anyway, I'm frustrated. I'm sad. I'm crying. I would say delay the gauntlet till season four and get it correct with the itemization revamp. If that has a great seasonal theme tied to it, if you can do all of that, we we might be back on track here. Let me know what you guys think, but uh, yeah, it is what it is.